Marissa again from Marissa Moments, the blog. And um, I am finishing or rounding out my top five fan favorite posts from my original blog site, which is right there below. And this one is entitled, Let It Go. It was originally posted on my site on Thursday, January 31st of 2013. And it had quite a big reaction. So, um, wanna hear? Here it goes. <laughs> um, I have found that we have the habit of holding on to things that aren't necessarily in his plan for us. We hold on so tight because it's familiar or on the polar opposite end because it's such a break from the norm that it gives us a rush of excitement. We must learn how to let go when we need. We must pay attention to the signs that tell us things or people aren't right for us. We must openly acknowledge our correct paths and in turn remove anything that is either detouring, detouring, <laughs> yeah, detouring, or destroying those paths. Paths. Oh, MG. Basically, what you need to do is, you know, maybe ask yourself, does this make me a better person? Does it get me closer to my goals? Does this feel like my true future? Does it feel equal? If the answer or answers, answers to any of those questions are negative, then you probably know what you should do already. Sometimes the steps on our paths aren't always easy, but they are necessary. Think of it this way. If you hold on, you are also removing that other person from their righteous path. Becoming the change you wish to see requires action. So remember, sometimes holding on, that's not the action you need. Sometimes you need to just let go. So pay attention. You know what you need to do. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon, morning, evening, night, you know the routine. And again, thank you. Um, please stay tuned. I will be posting more videos, hopefully without as many gaps in between. And I appreciate you. Have a great one. Ciao. Bye-bye. So long. Um, yeah, that's it. Take care. Bye.